gotta get out of here, understand? And I'll kill anyone who gets in my way. You included. Need a smoke. Where'd you stash yours? Where'd you even come from? How are we even talking? How the fuck should I know? The fuck kind of joy toy are you supposed to be? Fucking ghost off! You work for, start talking. Fuck. Fuck. Fucking chip. Rip the thing out myself. No, wait. You never, asshole. Now like that! Stick some iron in your mouth and pull the trigger! Oh. I can feel it. Our minds touch it. I'm like mold on fruit, creeping into you. Nothing I can do about it. You hear me? I'd puke if I fucking could. It's just a copy of the Edgram. I'm out there somewhere. Gotta be. Leave me alone! Get out! Just get the fuck out! Let to the head only thing that will fix this. Hear me, asshole? A bullet to the fucking brain! Oh, fuck me. What's going on? I live right upstairs. So keep on living. And stop minding other people's biz. Mendez, hold on. It's his neighbor. Is there anything I can do? Maybe. Do you know Barry at all? More or less. He's struck up a convo once or twice. He's a friend from the precinct. Left the force not long ago. He broke down after his best friend died. We're worried he'll do something stupid. Relax, Petrova. Barry's got nerves of steel. He's just a spiteful old bastard. Mendez! Could you check on him when he's chilled down? Sure, why not? It's not like we're miles apart. Thanks. Just be patient. Cops falling in rough times can be touchy. Let's see what I can do. Hey, Barry! Everything all right in there? I'm gonna take that as a yes. Uh, try again later. Sit. You do not look so bad. Then, in the car, 
I doubted you would survive. Why'd you help me anyway? I needed you to leave. That hasn't changed. This about the biochip? That why I'm here? Hmm. I hear it's damaged beyond the repair. Any attempt to extract it would be disastrous. Fatal for you. Vic likes to talk, I guess. Not many could do what he did. You should be thankful. What's it you actually want from me? To begin, you must tell me where to find Evelyn Parker. Evelyn? What's she to you? She and Yorino Barasaka had intimate relations. She knows how to get to him. Been thinking I ought to have a word with her myself. She promised to help me get rid of the chip. I would not count on that. She's likely gone very far away. Just answered your own question about where Evelyn is. Long gone. Why do you believe she could help you remove the chip? Does a corporation help her? V? Don't think so, no. Can you expand? Don't matter how much perfume Macorpo sprays on mornings. By lunch, that's replaced by the stench of skullduggery. Only thing I caught from Evelyn was determination. And I too stink of skullduggery? Nope. You're starting to stink. Period. Hmm. <sighs> Sorry I couldn't be of any help. Don't have any time to lose, so... Hey, wait. I need you. Yorinobu Arasaka must answer for this crime of patricide. <laughs> Looking for justice. In Night City. I seek revenge. Much more feasible here. I have allies prepared to bring Yorinobu to his knees. The only thing I need is proof. And you think they'll trust the word of a merc? I have nothing better now. Also, I know no one here. And I am a fugitive. I am hunted. What if I say no? Then I will tell you what rewards await if you help me. So what? We stroll into Arasaka HQ and announce that Yorinobu's a kin killer? That he murdered Saburo? We'll get the hearing before reasonable people in a neutral location. Certain procedures will be used to establish the truth. A lie detector? Forget it. In that case, another option. You are dying. You do not know how to save yourself. A chip, the relic, is a culprit. Technology made by Arasaka. Technology they alone know. This corporation can save you as easily as it can make you disappear. It is merely about getting the right people on your side. Politics. Exactly what kind of people are we talking about? People who hold Arasaka dear. Ah, it's hot. People interested in the corporation's stable growth. You mean people like Anders Hellman? You know this name? How? Prep for the heist. Thoroughly. Relic is Hellman's design, his creation. And true. He's a pawn. I was thinking of one much more powerful. Besides, Anders Hellman escaped to Arasaka. Betrayed it. Now, Hanako-sama, I would first like to ask you... Fucking Saka scums everywhere. Hey! I was listening to that! Shut up! Nobody except you wants to watch that shit about that corpo cunt. What did you say? 
You heard me. Let it go, Takamura. Hmm. At least one of you's got some fucking sense. Last thing we want to do is to draw attention. I'm sorry. I stupid the reflex. Thanks for the offer. Need to think about it. We'll get back to you. I need time to plan, organize. You stand to gain much if you help me. All I ask is that you do not leave the city. Leave? Why would I leave? Need help. Best chance I'll find the right person here. Someone other than Arasaka specialist? There's no one. No alternative. Actually, we just talked about some. With a bit of luck, I'll track down Evelyn. If she could not help you before, she will not manage to now. Honor among thieves. Ever heard of it? Yes. I thought it ironic. Thieves have none. There's just honor, I believe. Your noble Arasaka would agree, I'm sure. The Parker woman will not help you. Why are you? I would think about the plan B. Anders Hellman. He invented the relic. If I want to get rid of it, he's my man. And if that means picking another fight with Arasaka, so be it. Hellman defected from the company. I myself spent many days looking for him. He... What's the expression? Dropped off the face of the earth. Somebody's been busy the last few days. I will not sit and do nothing when there is information to be found. Things to prepare. Your job, basically. It was my job. Why are you looking for Hellman? He was the one to alert Saburo-san to Yorinobu's schemes. He knew both of them well and could be an important witness. Corporal rats will squeal when hanging by their tails. For several days, I collected the information. All leads point to one place. The club called the Afterlife. I was quickly dismissed by the Queen of Fixers there. Rogue. There's no time to waste, B. Take you for a suit? No. She saw me as Saburo Sama's killer. Rogue's well informed. Gets wind of most things that happen in the city. Might be worth asking her about Hellman. I wish you luck. The old man is choosy, expensive, and rude. I cannot stay here any longer. Do what you want. Look for Parker, Hellman, whoever. I must see some friends, call in some favors. When my people in Arasaka are ready to listen, I will call you. Till then, I guess. If by some miracle you find Hellman, please notify me. He and I have unfinished business. Zapper dumples and filth. In some ways, Night City never changes. Arasaka is still a despotic machine, and the world's on a collision course with chaos. But hey, at least Rogue's still alive. You know, you got some nerve. First you had to kill me, now you want to be my pal. Make like nothing happened. You know you don't gotta speak out loud to talk to me. What do you want? And I've processed some shit, changed my mind. Don't want you dead anymore. Go fuck yourself, dickwipe. Hey, wasn't easy for me either. You woke up in a landfill, I woke up in your head. Wrestling with your thoughts, memories. Think we're even. And I've taken a step back, looked at things. Think we might be able to help each other. We could start with Rogue. Her and I go back to the Stone Age.
Why should I trust you? Remind me again. Trust me, don't trust me. I don't give a fuck. It's the least of our worries, anyway. You're the ghost of Kristen's past, asshole. Any friends you had are either dead or so old their memory's gone. Johnny Silverhand died a legend. Nobody forgets that. So you fucking know, Rogue. What do I say to her? Got a talking brain tumor claims it's her old friend Johnny? Trust me, Rogue's heard dumber shit than that. Way back when you weren't even an itch in your daddy's ball sack. Don't need convincing. Seeing your memories, gross. Rogue will dance to any tune I play or just get us to the afterlife. There is no us. Thinking me dead. Thought it was game over for me, too. Things went ass up, huh? Not as planned. You heard about the heist, I take it. Must have, uh, talked to Evelyn. Didn't need to. Whole damn city's hurt. Listen, need to find Evelyn. I really don't want to talk about her. You know where she is? what I just say? Drop it. I won't tell you again. Can we meet? Let's meet, please. You at Lizzie's? Listen to that guy. How'd you read his chops? My untrained ear? Sounds all right, I guess. I mean, it's easy listening at least. Know why? Technique's second rate. But the feeling? That's what counts. Guy's hurt, got something he can't take, and it shows. Could stand a little more stage presence. Fingering's all wrong, loses the tempo more than he keeps it, but not bad. I don't really know how to give a guy a compliment. Is that how you got your start? Street busker with big dreams? Don't make me laugh. No time for playing my way to the top. Was too busy shaking the world awake. Being at the top can be worth it. You want to shake the world, you know. <laughs> well, the world's got to feel you first. And you pay for it. You spend your lyrics laying waste to the big record corpse. Who's going to sign you then? But give up your ideals, and no amount of eddies can buy them back. All right, princess. At least you played some gigs. It's all those memories of yours. True. Played where we could. Parks, old factories, underground clubs. Had an audience from the start. Some recorded our stuff didn't even know who we were. You mean to say I could get my hands on some old samurai bootlegs? I'm gonna find those tapes. I'm gonna shriek like a little fangirl anytime you open your mouth. Happy? Just you fucking try. Jokes aside, you think those tapes still exist after all these years? Hmm, you know, Rainbow Cadenza is not far from here. Club we played till the band fell apart. Great spot, place for people with their heads on straight. Maybe they'll know something. 